like um like a, a more yes. even slope. Yeah, but like maybe like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that's something that uh, practice is really really helpful. So um, like during your especially during your long runs, um, running fast on the downhill um, portions, uh, it, you, you just you'll get better at it the more you you do practice. You'll get more efficient. Um, that's more like a standard running style, right? You'd, you'd probably want to um, uh, run those downhills more like um, you would run um, fast at like an interval session or on the track, but then you'll you'll have to do use less power because you'll have a little bit of hill. So it's just more about sort of getting comfortable with extending your stride length um, as you're going downhill to kind of take advantage of the fact that the hill is doing a little bit of the work. But that as well as any of the downhill stuff we're going to do today like the theory is part of it it's it's helpful um practice is the most important part because this is a skill the more you do it the better you'll get at it um not from like a cardiovascular side but you'll just it's, it's like juggling you just people who spend more hours at it are going to be able to do it better um if you are um if you can incorporate downhills especially technical downhills stairs into your everyday runs but then also practice running them at like a race type pace whatever that is for you but like if you want to be faster at it you can't it's tough to get better at it by doing it slowly in practice because it's just such a fundamentally different like just walking downstairs at the mtr is <laughs> different than than what you like why you're signed up for this and you want to get better at doing it sort of while running um, it, it's muscle memory, it's, it's comfort. If, if you're doing it every day as part of your run and like, oh, I'm on the stairs, let's see if I can do them with a little bit of, of, of pace, um, it becomes second nature. You, you, you will just become faster. And that MTR bit, actually, you should take the stairs at the MTRs. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not joking. Like, and like you can, I, I'll be doing doubles on MTR stairs instead of taking the escalators because they're there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's especially with training. I think a lot of people will, you know, you go out for a 20k run, you know, you might sort of push a little bit harder on the uphills. And I think everyone always just says, oh, downhills, are, it's my recovery time, I'll take it easy. And so you're never actually practicing, you know, fast downhills. So sometimes when you do a training run, just actually say to yourself, yeah, for this run, I'm actually going to take the uphills easy and I'm going to hit the downhills. And so that's, you know, you just got to practice because if you, if your practice is only ever slow downhill, um, you're not going to get better at going fast downhill. Um, and just sort of with your question before, if it's really steep or slippery, just just go, go for those sort of really small <coughs> quick steps, and that'll just give you a lot more balance if you're a little bit nervous. Are there any tips on going on down sand? Kind of sort of here, like reduce the contact time or how do you deal with the sand? I think in general, if things are slippery, just go back to sort of quick short steps. Um, I mean, I've I've done. I did some sort of sandy, it was kind of more like scree coming down Mount Fuji once. And once you get the hang of, you, you step and then you slide about a metre, and then you step and you slide a metre. Once you get the hang of it, it's like, that's quite consistent, it's predictable. It's like, okay, well, let's just go with this. And so to start off with, it was like, okay, I don't know, so I'll take the, the quick, small steps. And it's like, oh, I know, I, I can predict this, okay. Then you just, I went for the big sort of steps um, because it was predictable. So I think... Yeah, start with something that you're comfortable with, and then if you can figure out how to go faster, maybe with bigger steps, then you can look at that. Don't touch sand.